Hi ma'am, <coughs> my name is Paitran Sanam Satya Silen and my metric size is 10 DEE 20 F 2019. So now we are going to look at the lab 5 which is about the function and array. So now I'm going to do straight to the uh, part B of this question of this of this lab. Okay, so this is our part B. So the practical assignment one which is the question one. So uh, this program is about the uh, objective is to return a sum value of two integer numbers entered by a user. Unfortunately, is it has five errors need to be meant before it could be used. You are to look for the errors and fix it up. So I am going to fix the five errors which have which we got here, and I'm going to cut cop, sorry copy and paste this. So now I'm going to run this program, run and compile. So here we go. Just add one, two. Yep, the output is one. So we get the question, the output. So now is for question two. Okay. So now second question is fix the program okay i think this one also the same as the question one so c program below is support supposed to swap values of integer of two integer before it could be used you need to look up for five errors just like the previous one so find out the errors and fix it so same thing i'm going to do for this okay so here we go So now I have finished. I think I have finished the uh, what? correcting the errors. So now I'm going to compile and run this program. Okay. So here we can look at the question. Sorry, output. So we get the output here. So now the uh, third question. Okay. So now. Okay. Now. Excuse me. This one is to complete the program. Okay. So the question is the objective of the of the C program below is to compare two input numbers and display which one is bigger. So it has five blanks. Oh, just now it's error, and now is blanks that you should fill up in order to work. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we got five blanks. So yes, I'm going to copy and paste this program. So now, I'm going to run and compile this program. Sorry, compile and run this program. Okay, just like going to put 12 and then 50. Yep, the max value is 50. So we got the output. So now I'm going to look at the fourth question. <coughs> fourth question, which is complete the program also but this one the c program is used to swap any two integer entered by a user user it has five blanks that you should fill up in order to work so just like the previous question we need to fill up the blanks oh above oh it's come okay okay so now we need to take this one 
So now I'm going to run and compile this program. Oh. <clears throat> so here we go. So I just like put an integer of so 12. Okay. So like uh, 20. So here we can see the output. Okay. So now I'm going to look at the next question, which is the practical exercise one. So write a program in C to find the square of any number entered by a user using the function call by value method. So now I'm going to do a program. Okay. So here we go. So now I'm going to run and compile this program. So here you go. If I add a 12, then it will be 144 if you square it. So we get this correct answer for this. So the next thing is the second question for particular exercise two, which is about write a program in C to find the square of any number entered by a user using the function called by reference method. <laughs> Excuse me. So this one is a bit, uh, this one is a bit um, different from the practical exercise one. So now I'm going to do. So now I'm going to run and compile this program. Oh, something went wrong. Need to insert int main.
So here we go. I add 12. Okay, because the value square value is 12. So here we get the answer. Okay, so I think that's all. Yeah. So that's all for now. Thank you, madam.